friends, it's your old pal Mrs. Springer. I miss you, Jesus loves you. This video is going to talk about the tricky spelling of the final J or J sound. So let's get into it. <clears throat> the funny thing about J at the end of the word of a word is that it's never spelled with a J. It's either spelled with a G-E or a D-G-E. Now you have to remember that G in front of an E, I, or Y says J. And so we use that G, E to spell the J sound sometimes, and sometimes we use D, G, E. Let's talk about that D, G, E first. When do we use that? We use that if there's a one letter vowel sound and there's no blend at the end. So in this word, bridge, one letter vowel, I, no blend at the end, it's just a J. We use the D, G, E. Those three letters are working together to make the J sound. This word, badge, one letter vowel, A. So D, G, E spells the J sound. Another example, wedge, one letter vowel, E, E, D, G, E says the J. Judge, same thing, one letter vowel, D, G, E spells the J. So when do we use G-E? <clears throat> Everywhere else. We use D-G-E or G-E if it's a long vowel sound. We use it if it's a multi-syllable word. And we use it if there's a blend at the end. So it's not just the J, but another sound with the J at the end. Here's an example of the long vowel. We have H-U-G-E, huge. Here the E is doing two jobs, making the A, U say its name, and making the G say J. If we took that E off, this word would be hug. So we want it to be huge, we know it can't end in a J, so we've got to put a G, E at the end. Bandage, there's that multisyllable, two-syllable word, bandage, bandage. And then strange, same thing. The A is kind of saying its name, but we also have mj at the end, strange. All right, now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a challenge. And if you wanna take the challenge, you can pause the video. I'm gonna tell you some sentences that have words like this in it, and then pause the video and try and write the sentence. And I'll show you what the sentence will look like and also a beautiful drawing of what the sentence means so that we know that we got it right. So the first sentence is, there is a huge bridge over the water. There is a huge bridge over the water. One more time, there is a huge bridge over the water. Pause the video if you wanna write it, otherwise, here's what the sentence should look like. This is the correct there because it's a place. It's got here in it, in case you forgot that rule. There is a huge long vowel, so we just use G-E. Bridge, short vowel, one letter vowel, use D-G-E over the water. Here's my huge bridge, here's my water. I even have a shark and a fish. Ooh, da 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 All right, another sentence, one more sentence to try. Remember, you can try it or you can just watch. The strange man with a badge made me cringe. The strange man with a badge made me cringe. One more time. The strange man with a badge made me cringe. Pause the video if you want to try writing it. <clears throat> Otherwise, here's the sentence. The strange there's a blend there, so we just use G-E. Man with a badge, one letter vowel, use D-G-E, made me cringe. Again, a blend, nj, so we use just the G-E. Here's my strange man with a badge, and here's the person cringing and kind of shaking with fear. All right, I hope you enjoyed working on that tricky spelling for the final J. Have a great day. Jesus bless you. I miss you. Bye-bye.